Morning team, it is a beautiful but very cold Saturday outside. Um, so we're going to be spending a little bit more of the day inside, more than likely. Now, it's past noon, so we've officially, um, ordered into brunch territory, which is, which is fine. It's not like I only got up an hour ago. Now, for breakfast or brunch, I'm not a huge sweets person. Um, like, I like pancakes, I like French toast. It's all delicious, but I'm more of a classic bacon and eggs kind of girl. If I can take a lot of the prep work and difficulty and messiness out of making bacon and eggs, then I'll do that. Now, a lot of people already know the trick about being able to bake bacon in the oven, so that way you get a lot of it all at once and it kind of reduces the mess. But did you know that you can also make hard-boiled eggs in the oven? So we're going to preheat our oven to 350. We've got our bacon laid out on a tray. I like to cut it in half depending on the size, but you know, totally up to you. And we've got our eggs ready to go in a muffin tin. You don't need to coat the muffin tin with anything. The eggs can literally just sit in there and bake. I know a lot of people don't mind doing it with the boiling water, but sometimes it's hard to judge how long they need to be in there. And so this is just a little bit more of a foolproof method and you can bake them at the same time as the bacon. The bacon's gonna cook for about 20 minutes and the eggs are gonna stay in there till about 30 minutes. And that's gonna give you a full hard boiled egg. If you like your hard boiled eggs a little bit softer, a little bit runnier, just pull them out a couple minutes earlier and you'll have a little bit more of a softer yolk. The great thing about this method is that if you have people coming over for brunch, you can make a whole lot of it at once. Or if you're just meal prepping for one, like me, then hard boiled eggs will actually stay good in the fridge for a few days. So I'm making eight right now because I'm gonna have two today, two tomorrow, and then, you know, it lasts me into my work week, which is great because then I don't need to worry about making breakfast. This is also a really great hack if you're making a recipe that requires a lot of hard boiled eggs, like salad sandwiches, deviled eggs, what have you. And so this way you can make a whole bunch of it at once and you're going to be consistently cooked all the way Ugh, bacon. Pull it out, put it on a paper towel, collect any excess grease. And if it's not quite as cooked to your liking, I don't mind bacon being a little bit fattier. I know some people love it like extra super crispy. Up to you. You can just leave it in the oven for a couple more minutes and it will crisp up. You wanna see my favorite part about cleanup? See ya. And when your eggs are done, just put them in a bit of an ice bath for a few minutes to help stop the cooking process. Leave them in here for mm, five to 10 minutes and they should be good. And just like that, look at how easy that was. Made a little green goddess salad yesterday, so having that again today. And just easy peasy and no mess. Happy weekend.